Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this vegetable ramen, which is one of my favorite things to make on a cold day or if I'm feeling under the weather. So stick around. Okay, so in order to make this, you're gonna need some sesame oil, some mushrooms, about a half an onion, some ramen noodles. Uh, these are, I think, Lotus brand. I got them at Costco. They're super yummy. Some green onions, some shredded carrots, frozen peas, and of course, better than bouillon, my favorite thing. So I'm just gonna work on chopping up stuff now. This ramen is not only just delicious, it is also, I feel like it is a cold remedy. Anytime I feel like I'm starting to get sick, or if I am sick, I make this and I swear it takes it away. It's like medicine, so there's power in the ramen. I've prepped about four cups of water with a, probably three tablespoons of better than bouillon. Now that everything's chopped up, I'm gonna heat up the pan and add some sesame oil, probably two or three tablespoons, a decent amount, because we've got a lot of vegetables there. Swirl that around. Dump everything in there. Adding my shredded carrots. It's probably about a cup of shredded carrots, I would say. And we're gonna stir and saute this for quite a bit of time. We want it to get nice and soft. This is the point where I realized that I forgot the garlic and the ginger, so definitely important flavors <laughs> for this recipe. Don't forget the garlic and the ginger. <laughs> that would have been a real bummer if I forgot to add those in. So here's what it's looking like so far. It still has a ways to go because like I said, we want it to get nice and softened up. So you're just gonna keep cooking that and stirring it. Put your garlic and ginger in towards the end of the sauteing process. So those are coming along nicely. As you can see, they're much softer now. Now I'm going to add in my vegetable broth. Give that a good stir. Here's what she's looking like so far. Looks good. I like a really strong flavor with this, so at this point I tasted it and I decided it wasn't it wasn't brothy enough, um, so I just add in some more better than bouillon and then just a little bit more water. And then I'm also going to add some sriracha, kick it up a notch. Here's what she's looking like. Looks real good. 
And then towards the end, we're going to add some frozen peas and some green onions. And then finally your noodles. I think I I think I'd been boiling it and simmering it for about 20 to 30 minutes before I added the final steps there. And then you basically just cook it until your noodles are soft. So that's looking like a finished product. And again, get ready to try this. Wow, this looks amazing. I love this stuff. It's so good. It is comfort food. It is amazingly tasty. All right, I'm about to dig in. I haven't eaten all day. Mmm. Oh, it's so good. You guys have got to try this. It's delicious. Especially on a cold day. All right, until next time.